an anonymous hacker group has released a trove of documents detailing the relationship between Iran and Russia. And as it turns out, the two countries are collaborating and cooperating on a way deeper level than anyone expected. I'm Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran. Let's break down this story real quick. So this is coming to us from Defense One, reporting a really fascinating story. A short version is a hacker group called Prana uh, has released thousands of emails and multiple documents it claims to have taken from a company called Sahara Thunder, which it's it alleges is a front company for the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. So this would be a well, a public-facing, non-suspicious uh, front uh, that is able to act in the interests of the IRGC and, by extension, the Iranian state. Uh, the metadata of the files, of course, having been deleted prior to prevent tracking of the leak source, uh, but. The documents appear relatively authentic, uh, even if they can't be confirmed as such. Um, but what's really fascinating is that on the other side uh, of this exchange with the Sahara Thunder Corporation is Alabuga. And Alabuga is a state-owned company in Russia that manages a large industrial park, namely a manufacturing facility. Now, this is collaborated by the Washington Post that got a hold of its own elite documents that said that Alabuga was central to a plan to build Shahed drones in side Russia itself. And this, I think, is the crux of the story that's kind of being buried. Now, these files uh, discuss the need to uh, purchase or license technology and components to assemble 6,000 of what they say are Dolphin 632 boat. Uh, of course, the document also said that once the boat production scaled up, Russia would be able to produce about 10,000 boats a year once it received all the relevant technology. But when you dig into the files themselves, Prana makes clear the boats are actually Shahed combat one-way UAVs. A November 2022 document uh, lists components such as avionics. Guys, avionics, for those of you that don't know, is a portmanteau of aviation electronics. So yeah, a literal term of aviation and electronics. Guys, fun fact, boats don't have aviation components. It has to fly to have aviation, to have avionics. So again, the Dolphin 632s or whatever are pretty obviously something else, especially because it also alluded to components such as a jet-assisted takeoff and a Nasir 2 anti-jamming system. And of course, those are only things that the, the Nasir 2 is unique to Iran and unique to the Hedge Shahed series and a jet assisted takeoff. There's only a few things in the entire Iranian arsenal that need a jet assisted takeoff, but most notably their Shaheds. Of course, a, another factory production slideshow from Alabuga describes the boat as containing a fuselage and elevons. Uh, elevons being, of course, uh, I believe elevation flaps, uh, but uh, uh, right. But I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're uh, elephants or tailorons are uh, aircraft control surfaces. Again, a component that boats don't have. And and so I say this because what's what's the takeaway here is that these documents are like perfunctory. But what's really important is that this shows that Iran and Russia are not just, initially the report was simply that, hey, Russia is buying some military hardware from Iran, right? A simple arms deal. They're both countries that are on, that are heavily sanctioned. So it would make sense that they would align together. But this is a way deeper level of cooperation. What this is discussing is having Iran provide Basically, all of the technical expertise, the entire ins and outs of their Shahed system in exchange for a pretty trivial licensing and component fee, right? So, and but but you have to understand, this reflects a huge level of trust between these two countries. Because again, 
what is to stop Russia from just building, cloning this entire tech and rebuilding it for themselves? The answer is there must be some kind of deal that's been worked out that's more than just, a, you know, a million dollars in licensing fees. And that, I think, is the thing that worries me about this. Not so much that Russia is trying to build its own versions and its own shaheds uh, that it can use and that it's looking for tens of thousands, uh, making up to 100 per month. Uh, the thing to take away from, from me from all this is that Iran, who we think of as being a threat in the Red Sea, as having its proxies engaging the United States everywhere, is at the same time outsourcing its manufacture of some of its most dangerous weapons to the Russian state. And it feels its trust levels with the Russian state are so high, it's willing to transfer all of its technological expertise in manufacturing these combat drones to the Kremlin. And so that should worry you because it implies beneath the surface that these two actors are mutually, like have a high degree of trust or a high degree of leverage over each other. Either one of those things is bad because it means that Iran could co-opt Russia to aid in its goal of thwarting uh, Israeli and U.S. interests in the Middle East. And likewise, it could mean that Russia can er extract even more value from Iran, leveraging Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps expertise, for example, in manufacturing weapons or in deploying things like anti-ship ballistic missiles. So all this to say, guys, you should, it, it, it may, it may just be a deal by two broke countries, but I think it's a little bit more. If you're looking for a little bit more and trying to get a little bit more out of each and every day, uh, you want some Strike Gum. Strike Gum is the energy drink alternative. Zero sugar, 90 milligrams caffeine, 100 milligrams alpha, as much caffeine as an energy drink, but none of the sugar. And given the energy drinks are like four bucks a pop now, guys, Strike Gum is just a better deal, right? Five pieces in a pack, each one of these little packs, absolutely crushing it. So check us out, strikegum.com. We've got new customer discounts, veteran discounts. We got everything. We don't have a Valentine's Day sale yet because honestly, I, I, I believe in Strike Gum. I think you should get it. You should chew it, but dude, don't get it for your girlfriend. She's going to be mad at you. But other than that, check it out. Anyway, that's all I had, guys. A huge shout out to the members of CombatVetNews.com. Be, be sure to hit like and subscribe on the video. Tell the YouTube algorithm that I make good content and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.